Have you ever wondered how the colorful flowers transform into the sweet and delicious fruit that we eat? It all begins with a fascinating process called pollination. So let's take a deep dive into this topic and try to learn more about it. Pollination in simple words refers to the transfer of pollen from anther of a stamen to stigma of a carpel. But there's a lot more to it than just this basic definition. Pollen represents the male gametophyte of angiosperms, that is, it is responsible for the formation of their male gametes. So pollination is in fact the transfer of male gametes in higher plants to make fertilization possible. Based on the source of pollen, pollination can be divided into three main types, autogamy, gaitonogamy and xenogamy. When the transfer of pollen occurs from the anther to stigma of the same flower, it is called autogamy. This is only possible when the plant has bisexual flowers, that is, the flowers have both stamen as well as carpel. Autogamy can be defined as true self-pollination, that is, genetically as well as functionally self-pollination. Autogamy is not dependent on the presence of pollinators. The second type is gaitonogamy, in which the transfer of pollen occurs from the anther to stigma of different flowers of the same plant. There are two possible cases for gaitonogamy to occur. The first is, if the plant species has unisexual flowers, that is, male or staminate flowers and female or pistillate flowers but on the same plant. So it can occur in monoecious plant having unisexual flowers. Some examples of such plants are maize, castor, cucurbits, coconut, etc. The second case is when the plant is bisexual but the pollination occurs from one flower to another. Gaitonogamy is a complex case as genetically it is a type of cell pollination while functionally it is similar to cross pollination and it is also dependent on the presence of pollinating agents. The third and the last type of pollination is xenogamy or allogamy. In this type of pollination, the pollen are carried from flower of one plant to flower of another plant of the same species. There are three possible cases for xenogamy to occur. First, if the plant is dioecious, that is, sexes are separate. The pollen will be carried from the male plant which has only male or staminate flowers to the female plant having only female or pistillate flowers. Common examples of such plants are date palm and papaya. The second case is when the plant is monoecious having unisexual flowers. It is possible that any pollinating agent carries pollen from one plant and transfers it to a different plant. And at last, the bisexual plants can also perform this type of pollination. So in the first part, we learned about the types of pollination and the next question is how does the transfer of pollen occurs? The answer is with the help of pollinating agents. Wind pollination or anemophily. The pollen of a wide range of plants including monocots and gymnosperms are carried by wind. Wind pollination is the most common abiotic agent. To make it possible, the plants show features like presence of small, light and non-sticky pollen, presence of feathery stigma and style to capture the pollen, flowers lack bright color, fragrance and nectar as wind pollination is not dependent on biotic agents. As the process is non-directional, so large number of pollen are required to increase the chances of pollination. Flowers are often found grouped into inflorescence. Water pollination or hydrophily is a rare type of pollination and it is recorded in less than 30 genera of angiosperms, mostly belonging to monogots. Pollen of water pollinated plants is surrounded by mucilage layer to make it unwettable. Their flowers lack bright color, fragrance and nectar. Just like the wind pollination, water pollination is also non-directional and requires a large number of pollen to increase the chances of pollination. One thing to note here is most of the aquatic angiosperms, even after being surrounded by water, rely on wind or insect pollination. 
इंसेक्ट पॉलिनेशन और एंटोमोफिलिक द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ पॉलिनेटिंग एजेंट्स आर द इंसेक्ट अमंग ऑल द इंसेक्ट पॉलिनेटर्स बीज आर द मोस्ट कॉमन एजेंट एंड कंट्रीब्यूट टू अबाउट सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल पॉलिनेशन इन फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स द पॉलिन आर सराउंडेड बाय स्टिकी सब्सटांस टू हेल्प इट अटैच टू द इंसेक्ट्स बॉडी इन सच प्लांट्स द फ्लॉर आर ब्राइटली कलर्ड फ्रेग्रेंट एंड आई द लार्ज इन साइज ग्रुप्ड इन टू इन फ्लोरसेंस इन दिस टाइप ऑफ पॉलिनेशन द चांसेस ऑफ पॉलिनेशन इज वेरी हाई सम प्लांट्स अट्रैक्ट फ्लाइज एंड बीटल्स फॉर पॉलिनेशन बाई रिलीजिंग अ फाउल स्मेल ऑफ रॉटिंग फ्लैश बर्ड पॉलिनेशन और ऑर्निथोफिलिक बर्ड्स लाइक हमिंग बर्ड हैव अ लॉन्ग बिल एंड टंग which allows them to easily obtain nectar from the flower during this process pollen gets dusted on the bill of the bird and when this bird reaches another flower pollination can occur other types of pollinating agents are bats reptiles and primates like lemurs so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching and if you have any queries regarding this topic you can ask it in the comment section below